next concept is interference of light so what is the meaning of interference of light take two light sources s1 and s2 having a same having some phase difference having same frequency which is with respect to time there are two sources s1 s2 maintaining it some phase difference same frequency dependent on time in this case these two source light sources maintaining these qualities while they are traveling into same direction these two light waves which are from the sources released from the sources they will try to overlap on each other when they overlapped on each other the intensities of these two light sources not uniformly distributed no chance for the uniform distribution of the intensities of the individual light sources at some places intensity will be maximum and you will see a constructive interference in this case resultant intensity is greater than the sum of individual intensities at some places you will see the interference pattern as a destructive interference what is the meaning of destructive interference where the resultant intensity is less than the difference of the individual intensities so there is an alternative formation of maximum intensity minimum intensity maximum minimum maximum minimum that maximum point having the more intensity which is a constructive difference interference maxima and uh, that one whose which is uh, less than the i1 minus i2 is a destructive interference which is minimum so alternative arrangement of these variations of the intensities of light while they try to overlap on each other is called interference then the ring structures what we will observe in the interference is called interference pattern or pattern of interference this was well explained by newton so the alternative arrangement of maximum and minimum interference patterns maximum is we can say constructive and minimum destructive interference pattern when two light sources or we can write when two sources of light are trying to overlap each other means the alternate arrangement will automatically takes place so while they trying to overlap each other is called interference so this interference pattern we can observe through the newton rings 
and uh, they have some uh, equation part for this interference means what is the equation for the constructive one and what is the equation for the destructive one and what are the bands we will observe in that case and band width nothing but the fringe width we will see all so now we will see there are two sources which are releasing the two waves let us take the wave first wave which has the displacement of y1 is equal to some a cos omega t y2 is also a cos omega t let us suppose I mean there is no phase difference means we can say this is a constructive interference these two sources are moving in the same direction so the resultant displacement is equal to y is equal to y1 plus y2 so y1 is a cos omega t y2 is a cos omega t concludingly we will get 2a cos omega t is equal to y but the resultant intensity of this type of interference is directly proportional to square of the amplitude square of the resultant amplitude that means the resultant intensity of the waves is directly proportional to square of the resultant amplitude. So we can write i is equal to what is 2 square? 4, 4 i naught. Or i is proportional to 4 i naught. So automatically we will get the same relation. We can prove the same relation for constructive and destructive interference. Now we will see if the difference between the two waves are even numbers, even in order, and odd in order. So what will the change in equations we will see now? So let us take the two waves which are interfering with each other. One wave, this is source 1, S1. This is the wave pattern which is released by a source 1, S1. So its wavelength is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 lambda. Crest to crest, trough to trough, we can see the wavelength pattern. There is another source which has the, which is called source 2 or S2 releasing the same type of wave pattern but there is a difference what is this wavelength this is source 2 one, two, three, four, five. It's a five lamp. These two are pointing towards a point P, are interfering at a point P. The path length from S1 to P is S1P. 
path length from S2 to P is S to P. Therefore, path difference S1 P differ S2 P is equal to 7 lambda minus 5 lambda nothing but 2 lambda. Though there is a variation of 2 lambda wavelength. Each lambda is equal to 2 pi when compared to the oscillatory motion. When we compare it to the same thing to an oscillatory motion it is 0 pi by 2. This is pi and this is uh, 270 this is 2 pi so each lambda is 2 pi therefore the phase difference between two is phase difference is 2 into 2 pi is equal to 4 pi suppose what is the displacement of the first source let us write a cos omega t Whatever the displacement of the second source, A cos omega t, but it is decreased. How much decreased? 2 lambda decreased in wavelength. So that's why we can write omega t minus 4 pi. Now what we can understand in these two cases, the result in this resultant displacement, when we got the resultant displacement, y is equal to y1 plus y2, we will get the phase difference of 4 pi. This is the even order, even order phase difference. So for this even order phase difference, these two waves will align in the same phase. So we will get a maximum interference, which causes to constructive interference. So the maximum interference will be observed when these two waves align in even phase this is one of the important point for this case of constructive interference this leads to constructive interference This leads to constructive interference. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.